Geeks of the Week news on Monday. And today we have a lot to talk about. First, I want to explain my odd attire. Not too long ago, the Geeks of the Week started talking about being different ponies from the series. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Well, this week we have dedicated Pony Week. I have designated myself as Rainbow Dash, but seeing as I do not have a rainbow colored wig, my delirium wig would have to do. It's a little messy and it only has three colors, but I think I've got it. I am also wearing this blue jacket, which is the most color you've probably ever seen me in. But wait, it gets better. It has wings! Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out! And for some reason, people always seem to draw a human rainbow dash wearing goggles. Thus, the goggles. So we're on to some more news. Nikki seems to be back in full swing as she was kidnapped by Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn not too long ago. But we saw her on Friday and she seems to be doing quite well. And now for some Marvel news. The Avengers movie has put out some more footage. This time it's of Thor and Captain America fighting side by sides with lovely bromance action. And of course we can't have Marvel news without some DC news as well. So DC decided that they were going to come out with a digital comic book series for their figurine series called the Ame Kami Hero and Heroine series. And although an actual release date has not been set, the Ame Kami Girls is set to release at the end of May or the beginning of June, and I think we are all very excited to see our favorite heroines fighting crime in adorable anime outfits. On a sort of related note about DC, Holy Musical Batman has released on YouTube. Holy Musical Batman is put on by Starkid, who are a very good production team of actors and writers, and they also brought us a very Potter musical, and if you haven't seen that, you should definitely take a moment to check it out. And now for this week's top story. Last week, Lulu talked about how you shouldn't judge a series based on its fan base, which is totally true because many series are very good, but have terrible fans who ruin it for everybody. Here at Geek News, we have decided to take things one step further and interview some poor souls who have been infected by terrible fandoms. Earlier, Steph was reporting live from the con scene, interviewing several poor people who just happened to be at the wrong place in the wrong time and were affected by bad fandoms. Let's take a look at those covers so we can see just how destructive bad fandoms truly can be. This is Steph reporting live from Apartment Con, where there's plenty of people here and there's a good chance that we're going to find some people who have been terrorized by terrible fandoms. Let's see who we can find. I was just sitting there, minding my own business, sitting on the floor, because my feet really hurt because I was wearing these really high shoes. They were like a four inch stilettos. And then out of nowhere, all these Italian people come in and they almost start stepping on me. This one girl pulled out a whip, like literally a whip. And she started flailing it like it was a fly swatter or something. And I don't even know because it almost hit me a few times and it was just so rude. So I was just posing like a complete badass with my staff here and all of a sudden out of nowhere freaking Naruto comes out of nowhere and rams right into me as he runs through the crowd. I'm surprised he didn't break my prop. I mean it's, it's pretty solid but he ran into me with all of his scrawny force. I was in an elevator going down to the con floor from my room and I stopped on the floor right below me and I think it was about four Homestuck cosplayers came in and all of them just started honking horns at me like honk 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 like in my face not just like in a corner of the elevator but in my face the announcer whoever she was yelled I was like oh raise your hand if you like this pairing and they all like raised their hands and I'm walking by and they call me out because obviously I didn't raise my hand I'm not even part of the group and they're like oh my gosh she doesn't like so and so together oh my gosh she's so stupid everyone laugh at her oh my god so dumb everybody likes this pairing just let me walk in peace I don't even know any of you people leave me alone unfortunately these are only a few of the people who have been 
scared off, terrorized by bad fandoms. I just hope one day we can all get past this and act like decent human beings at conventions. Back to you at the studio. Hold on. It's just, it's just so horrible to see people affected like that. It's a community that's supposed to be all about people having fun and enjoying their time at conventions. And just having people ruin it for you is just, oh. I think the moral of the sad, sad tale is that people need to stop doing stupid shit. And maybe people won't automatically think terribly of you and your fandom. Realize that conventions aren't a place where you can just lose all morals and sense of human being. That rules and guidelines still apply even though you're trying to have fun at a con. Having respect for other people can go a long way. So please, for all of us who aren't a part of your crazy fandoms, just stop. Stop being stupid. Just stop and save us all the trouble of having to deal with your stupidity. Because it's a burden. It's a huge burden. So that concludes Monday's Geek News, and I hope you like, subscribe, comment, and continue watching for the rest of the Geeks of the Week. And until next time, stay classy, my geeks. And they're all like, let me tell you about Homestuck, honk, 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 honk. And I was like, bitch, please, I'll tell you about Homestuck, but bang!